Uh, I'm really fortunate to have with me today Daksha Patel. Oh, she's a vibrant woman, a female activist, I would say, a feminist to the core. And she's former president of National Coalition of Positive uh, People Living in India and uh, also a board member uh, of the executive committee of NCPI Plus, as we call it. Uh, welcome, Daksha. Uh, Daksha, what challenges did people living with HIV in India face during the COVID-19 pandemic and how did the community respond to it? Uh, yes, there was a, uh, so many challenges community faced. Uh, first of that, all of a sudden lockdown was happened uh, in a country, so entire country. So the people where uh, they was uh, they were all are stuck uh, and basically uh, who uh, people who are uh, living with HIV and they are uh, migrant in uh, other state. So they faced a lot of challenge and uh, uh, with with this all, uh, they like they uh, who are the daily wages uh, uh, dependency and uh, to access of ART medicine. Uh, even the uh, people who are not disclosed in their family. So this, this specific group have faced a lot of uh, challenge to access of services during pandemic and uh, during uh, lockdown. Uh, there was like everything was stopped uh, in a country and also our life, uh, being a community living with HIV, our life was also hampered a lot uh, due to lockdown and uh, COVID. Uh, uh, issue because uh, one of the biggest challenge about the there is a no clarity uh, being a community member uh, that where to access the ART medicine in immediate basis if I have any opportunity infection where I can contact because all hospitals are converted in a COVID uh, service setup uh, the footfall at the ART center even infection among the ART center uh, staff it, there was also affected lot and uh, uh, like a monitoring test uh, for um, uh, HIV and uh, OI management, there was uh, another biggest issue uh, for community member. But uh, like where where the challenge will come, the hope is always there. And uh, we as a uh, community network uh, members stand uh, for uh, to overcome this issue. And uh, first we dialogue with the National Age Control Organization, then State Age Control Society, and our uh, district authority like collector and uh, who are the key stakeholders, uh, we work very long back. And same period, uh, there is a, in a country, uh, uh, in, the, in our government of uh, India, introduced the uh, Daltronagravir medicine, DTG combination. And People are like uh, to completely not understand like why my medicine is changing and uh, because there is a staff capacity is not up to the mark. So during that, uh, community come forward uh, in a collaboration and partnership with the uh, NACO, SEX and uh, 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 local uh, authority. And we work uh, closely with uh, like um, uh, even uh, police, even uh, like Red Cross, even many more people. Uh, to uh, we, we develop uh, one of the multi-month dispensation uh, 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 protocol uh, uh, in uh, our policy, and uh, there is a drug dispense refilling through community at the community center or nearby to community home. That is the one of the uh, biggest uh, step forward uh, decision taken by NACO. And it was helped a lot. But the second part we faced about uh, during lockdown, how we, uh, our community volunteer and frontline team will go in a field level to provide medicine to the beneficiary. So we got a police uh, even uh, 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 permission uh, letter also from our status control societies. And even we done a lot of jugar <laughs> uh, to go beyond our challenges. And uh, uh, I would I would happily say here that more than 50,000 plus community member we served, uh, connected with ART medicine near to near place or to step down to their house and uh, even uh, not only government sec sector like in Joe the people who are uh, taking medicine from the private sector 
for those also they they also had a similar challenge and we connected them uh, with the government setup and uh, uh, link uh, art medicine which is the lifelong uh, medicine and it is very important for each and individual uh, for daily doses without any um, uh, delay or any uh, uninterruption so th this is the done by joint efforts uh, by community members when was dolitogravir introduced in the national program uh, just it's a in uh, december uh, it was uh, introduced okay. and uh, from january uh, uh, it was supposed to uh, roll out in a country and uh, uh, in uh, during march it was a lockdown and everything yeah so but then did you was it rolled out eventually during covid or no uh, partially Partially. I would not say that 100 percent, but okay. it is a partially. Uh, it was uh, happened because the stock was somewhere transferred, reached to the setup, and uh, it was. Uh, and on that time, uh, we used a lot of social media. Mm -hmm. uh, we conducted number of webinar on community awareness about uh, DTG medicine. Uh, experts like Dr. Ganga Kedkar, Dr. Revari. Uh, there are. The number of uh, uh, people joined us, uh, even NACO also uh, joined our webinar uh, for community awareness. Okay, so now now what is the situation? Now more people are getting it. And also I would like you to explain uh, that uh, why Doleta Gravir, for many people who are not aware of, uh, many of our viewers may not be aware, why Doleta Gravir and uh, why is it important that we have this? Because it is supposed to be supposed to be a magic bullet with very <laughs> yes. side effects. So. Yes, of course. Uh, th uh, there is a in a dolitonagravir medicine there is a less side effect uh, and uh, cost effective. Even uh, there is a uh, viral uh, viral load be a very fast uh, suppress and uh, it's like a uh, magic drug. I, I would say in a one line. So this is very helpful and uh, in uh, India there uh, supposed to, uh, there was a discussion long back but uh, uh, there was uh, like we don't had any exact proper study uh, before it but uh, when the data shown yes it is already WHO uh, pre-qualified approved and uh, uh, our country also adopted uh, same. So this is the why, uh, uh, this is the reason uh, Dr. Nagravi introduced our, in our program. So uh, treatment could, would co could continue during COVID-19 because of community, intense community participation. It Was it disrupted in some cases or... Uh, and also about diagnosis, diagnosis of new cases that might have gone down? Yes, uh, I would say here that uh, yes, uh, the medicine was reached to community. Yes. Uh, there was a challenge but uh, of course because of uh, certain uh, uh, immediate uh, decisions was taken uh, over in NACO. So it was helpful to community came up, up front to uh, work for community in a coordination with the state health control societies and all. So this small policy change was uh, bring lo big change in a pandemic situation to reach out the um, uh, treatment uh, to the community uh, level. And uh, uh, diagnosis of course it was, a, uh, of course it was a disturbed lot uh, because the supply of the samples and the priority uh, like entire health system priority was a covid so it was a, of course it is a, a challenge but the treatment part was taken care uh, and uh, what about uh, the vaccination covid vaccination where what uh, yes. what, what happened with that and <laughs> what was the community role in that uh, <laughs> it's very good question uh, because uh, there is like when vaccine was introduced uh, it become hope for all of us including HIV positive yes. but uh, when uh, it was a prioritization during the prioritization uh, uh, like uh, who are the health worker uh, like uh, government there was a first uh, uh, receiver of the benefit of a vaccine so who are the community member working in that sector they had a lot of like mis uh, misconception and misunderstanding about should I take a vaccine or not uh, it will harmful or it will work for me and uh, that because on that time personally we also not undergone for a vaccination 
बट येस वी अगेन वी कॉल नंबर ऑफ वेबिनार ऑन मिथ्स एंड मिसकनसेप्शन फॉर वैक्सीनेशन एंड वी एजुकेटेड अवर कम्युनिटी मेंबर फॉर हाउ इट इज इम्पोर्टेंट एंड आफ्टरवर्ड्स वैन द वैक्सीन विल वैन वैक्सीन वॉज वेरी इजी आई वुड से हियर माई पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस when i went to the uh, my vaccination my health uh, uh, that uh, health center uh, uh, team member was asked me is there you do you have any other illness so i openly told yes i am hiv positive so she asked me what so i told uh, it mean hiv aids i am i am with uh, hiv aids oh, okay you, are you taking uh, any medicine i told yes i am on uh, lifelong medicine and this is my medicine so uh that's a, uh, that was a very easy for me but i i learned that oh it is not easy for any other person like that's why i i learned that that's why people was calling us that uh, uh, if they will ask what we will answer but there is in a format there is a detail uh, any illness so uh, we build up our uh, partnership with uh, i would say in my city uh, we build up partnership with our municipal corporation political leaders and we started a camp in our uh, uh, offices so it was uh, like a lot of media coverage came uh, for this uh, camp and everything and key population who are transgender sex worker and msm they came very uh, easily and up front to the, our office uh, to access the covid vaccine and this this was like mouth to mouth mouth publicity was helped us lot Uh, to reach exact message to the uh, all community member at the down the line and uh, we also worked uh, for mobilization of uh, vaccine because at the art center uh, our uh, community frontline worker was uh, uh, literally was like checking each and every person who did the first dose who di- who did not so they, the referral was initiated by them so uh, now uh, the different part about booster dose mm-hmm. so <laughs> again it is the same things is coming now the 12th about 12th uh, uh, ch- uh, age group of children living uh, it's include all children mm-hmm. and it is include uh, children living with hiv mm-hmm. so uh, now there are uh, like uh, who are caretaker of the children uh, specifically i would say here Uh, they was very worried about like any side effect or any problem to children then what should be we do or it, most of the uh, vaccines for children are in the school place so they was very much worried about like uh, uh, hiv uh, disclosure or anything so uh, that is a, like a community uh, sensitization uh, counseling and uh, peer support is all, always very much important in such kind of awareness stigma reduction and uh, take them out from fear of any myths yes so what about the confidentiality issues that you are saying a uh, disclosure issue that you have to uh, the healthcare worker is asking there do you have any <laughs> illness and some people may not want to yes. reveal their status yes yes so yes how did you deal with that so uh, actually uh, when <laughs> personally when i went uh, my on uh, vaccination process uh then i realized there is a uh, uh, there is only like a database details they are collecting oh. and when community was asked us uh, do i need to uh, if they will ask what i can oh. say oh. that uh, then we uh, uh, re- we, we uh, counsel them that it's completely depend on you mm. if what you want to reveal you mm. can Be otherwise no any like correlation between vaccine yeah. and hiv right, right. so the, it's just for uh, for their reference detail they are putting there so it is depend on you if you are comfortable you can otherwise if you not comfortable then you cannot reveal okay. yeah okay. yes that's the right because the, there is a thousand no i would say it's very less number but lacks of uh, health provider frontline worker are working in a, vaccination process uh, uh, and uh, it's not easy to uh, sensitize each and every right. where exactly exactly uh, daksha what about uh, viral load testing we just wanted to know because uh, 
that is a, that has been introduced now. But yeah. How is the program picking up? Or, uh, it's picking well. Hmm. Uh, first of the thank you. <laughs> Uh, National Ice Control Organization Government of India that yes, uh, after long, uh, uh, long process, वो पहले राशन के सिस्टम में था, अभी वो सिस्टम में आ गया है। तो now viral load is in our program and it is very much helpful. Uh, to because we are talking about 95, 95, 95, mm -hmm. but third 95, if I want to measure, there is a no any evidence. Uh, without evidence, we can't do anything. So now viral load uh, 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 test is in our program, and it is helpful for any individual. And now even the community member are um, uh, like uh, we when we are educating, we are keep talking to uh, individuals uh, things that we are showing them what, what is this re report sh show you what is mean and uh, it mean that if you are matlab aap agar apni ait medicine ke sath badmashi kar rahe ho ya phir chhod rahe ho it will also reflect here and uh, it not mean ke uh, aap bol doge kisi ko ki yes i am uh, following 100% my or 95% uh, my adherence it is not like that but it, your report report will reflect more about uh, your adherence and everything yes. and it is your health chart yes so yes. you can also measure your own uh, health uh, by your own and uh, uh, i am just remembering uh, this yeah. viral load business yeah. uh, one meeting was there in naco uh, and uh, there was a discussion about like we have certain uh, uh, um, uh, um, uh, we, we need to roll out the uh, viral load mm. so I was uh, confused uh, mm. because I was very new uh, well, uh, for viral load is was very new for me uh, on that time and I was thought, thinking that why not for all mm. but now uh, on that time then after the meeting I uh, that question was continue in my mind mm. then I understood that oh our uh, uh, demand is not still reaching to the <laughs> right place and uh, the design and the data is uh, based on the budget it's not based on the so, demand <laughs> okay so what was this was in which year this was uh, it is in it is very like uh, more than nine years back okay, so yeah. they, uh, no so that time they were saying that they will be testing in certain populations uh, only or what uh, no it is based on like uh, uh, Certain discussion was going on uh -huh. and in just in a uh -huh. general meeting uh -huh. and uh, it is like to whom we will take first. Okay. Uh, yeah. okay. Uh -huh. Prioritization of group. Uh -huh. Prioritization. But now what is it? Is it yeah, for all. No, 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 it is for all. It is for all. Yeah, like if uh, any one person needs to switch the uh, medicine, so first is a viral load, is a baseline. Mm. Then uh, first uh, the another viral load will be six months mm. and then uh, every year. No, so those who are to switch medicines only. No, but if those who are on ART, everyone will not. Have. No, but be, because our in a program, Dalton Agravid medicine is a TLD medicine is a, uh, introduced. Uh, so, so uh, when the uh, any any one person is uh, checking or switching to TLD, uh, so first is a viral load test okay. is. A okay, so uh, but now once they switch to it, after that. The viral load six months. Continue. Six, six months. Yeah, months. yeah. And then every year. Okay. Then then every year. Once every. Year. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, uh, what has the what lessons has the pandemic taught <laughs> you and the community? Because uh, uh, the HIV field is known for community participation and <laughs> community. You are the best person to judge. Has brought about tremendous changes by way of prevention, treatment, diagnosis. Like the community has. Uh, really fought hard for it so what has the pandemic taught you what lessons you all have learned to be better prepared and also even if there is no pandemic to be better prepared to deal with uh, situations so that uh, to avoid resistance to avoid going on second line treatment what are the lessons learned so, so I can add one thing yes because so government was also not that prepared as communities <laughs> new people wrote 10 days before right that, that maybe if lockdown happens, then what? How are you going to ensure an interpretation? So how can we? All what is the guideline? 
Yes, and so, I, I want to add also that <laughs> perhaps this did not happen in the case of other infectious diseases. Yes, as it happened in HIV, the community yes. uh, support. Yes. So, it is the biggest lesson. So, frankly, I am saying that uh, for, from COVID pandemic. First is about use of technology. <laughs> Because, yes, uh, it was completely stopped, everything was stopped, and, uh, uh, but uh, we need to connect our community. So this was the social media and uh, this all was, uh, we utilized best to best level. Previously, I was not uh, aware about what is a virtual. And I, that word was like question mark in my mind and I learned and now I am uh, facilitating the webinars. Uh, this is the best learning. The second is about the like वो एक कहावत है कि पानी आने के पहले हमें वो पाल बांधना जरूरी है तो अगर ये पैंडेमिक हमें सिखा के गया है कि what what worst to worst situation will come in our life so some of the like policy decision and like alternative provision needs to be in system. Like uh, we are continued dialogue uh, going on with the NACO about uh, community-led uh, ART drug refilling uh, for uh, any disaster management or for any different models we already discussed with the NACO. So such provision and process must be in place. So if we if the if any disaster will come or any pandemic will come, we use that card. So we no need to wait for any file put up or uh, process of approval or anything. So such is the, that is the one biggest learning. The third is about the users because users because we uh, we we seen stigma with in our life very closely. Yes. And uh, even we came over with yes. a lot of mental stress uh, when we diagnosed. Uh, we uh, started our medicine, we faced uh, society, we faced our family, even we faced our health uh, things. So used us uh, as a uh, asset uh, for any challenge, overcome of the challenge. So this is the major learning uh, what I personally feel. I'm just sharing one exam, uh, my one uh, uh, experience here. Uh, one of the our center, uh, it was like previously 60, 70 community member was accessing ART uh, as a community led model, uh, Ayushyam Plus in uh, Ahmedabad. <laughs> During pandemic, from morning 6, because it was a lockdown, mm -hmm. so morning 6 to 8 was all like open or relax, relaxation time that, so morning to that period, in a, month, in a month, yeah, in a month we provided a refill uh, to uh, ART medicine, more than 1200 community members. And even there was one, one case was happened about police uh, harassment. So in that time also, our community leader was went to the police station and she like uh, that police station was circulated the message among uh, other police uh, station yeah. that if such kind of art book huh. if show you anyone huh. it means it is essential medicine okay. because they are not aware about art medicine yes, is essential right. huh. so such things uh, i am saying that we, we we are not saying that we will work anything stand alone huh. but use us as a asset of, uh, of to overcome any challenge. Uh, what about this multi-month dispensing of medicines? How many months of medicines have been given? Where is it? Two months, three months. There was a lot of medicine provided. But now, at that time, it was also a challenge that the boxes, it is like a container. It is not a box, I would say container. So that was a transport process. So, for that, uh, it's not easy to provide, like, uh, we also looking forward, like, ki har ek tak medicine pahunch hai. So, multi-month dispensation ka to ye ek provision tha, to do month beyond uh, that, we uh, limited ourselves. But uh, after, jaysay medicine uh, stock was uh, uh, arrived, 
and slow down the uh, uh, lockdown was relaxed relaxation was happened then people accessed the medicine beyond the 12 to 1 so ab jo hai man liye when the lockdown is open and so do you think this uh, like giving medicines for two months at a time would be beneficial or you have gone back to the one month dispensing? yeah of course why not so yeah the, of course okay. see uh, if a pa- person is uh, okay. uh, 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 completely like uh, okay. viral load is okay. suppressed right. no any co infection okay. uh-huh. uh, no tb uh, symptoms uh-huh. or treatment uh-huh. and if person is following 95 plus uh, adherence uh, by their own and com- completely literate uh, uh, about their medicine and uh, adherence level is uh, uh, very uh, well then there is no harm to provide uh, uh, beyond the two, uh, one month so ye hoga policy mein ya koshish abhi abhi chal raha hai aur kai jagah pe diye bhi ja rahe hain okay yeah okay. Uh, one more question about uh, how did women in the community of women face were they at a, because lot many things happened women were inside the house the positive women gender based violence domestic violence badha so were they at a disadvantage as elsewhere in the community or or were they strong enough to uh frankly uh, i am saying that uh, uh, at least if i will say i will see in a different uh, uh, right. angle uh-huh. uh because uh, many of women uh, are like uh, who are widow who are single uh-huh. their struggle was uh, very high uh-huh. uh, then uh, household uh, women uh-huh. because their dependency is uh, on family uh-huh. uh and of course uh, like their earning uh or the uh, like source of income it was completely stopped uh, that was a issue but uh, with the, who are with the family and with their uh, uh, husband or a partner so for them uh, was about we we don't had any like direct reported any domestic violence uh, issue or anything uh but yes i think so but we may be not got inside but uh, like positive prevention uh, because that commodities are uh, related to the like condoms and uh, 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 contraceptive methods there uh, this that's was also one of the uh, gap uh, du- du- during the lockdown so it may be but we not gone inside of what happened but i seen when we conducted webinar Uh, we conducted mental health uh, webinar also and many more uh, subjectual yoga and so many uh, subject i seen number of women was participated okay so i feel that uh, at least they uh, they found there some space uh, maybe they in a home they don't had like smartphone or like if they had a smartphone but no internet connection but due to the fam- family are in home yeah. so they used uh, like internet connectivity and they connected with us mm-hmm. so that sign i seen positive, positive also very yeah. positive yes and and they became more familiar with these, yes, uh, yes. things yes 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 okay. so anything else you would like to share daksha it's really always so energizing <laughs> talking to you and what you have gone through and to what position you have risen that is uh, <laughs> something to be learned by all of us women <laughs> that never say die attitude and to stand up again so any last message you want to give yeah just uh, like uh, uh, if being a woman uh, never uh, you can stop to your own self and uh, uh, even in a pandemic when uh, <laughs> when i went uh, uh, in a field also i went uh, lo- in, in a lockdown i went uh, outside in a ambulance i was uh, uh, went with our uh, uh, our state president and uh, for art medicine uh, stock transfer to the very rural area so when am- <laughs> when ambulance came to my apartment in a downstairs uh, it was a lockdown period and entire apartment was like in on a window 
and uh, when i came out alone my husband was on um, uh, terrace and i went <laughs> i went uh, to get uh, of our apartment then everyone was thinking that oh she because i am open with my hiv status in my apartment so they was worried about oh she having a low immune system so maybe she had a covid then i was just laughing and saying bye bye to all and i will see you in evening then everyone was confused and they went to the upstairs to my husband um, uh, uh, in a terrace and everyone started gossiping and asking oh the, uh, what happened with daksha and uh, why you are allowing to her uh, to go alone uh, in a hospital but we, my husband was laughing that why she is going to hospital she is just trans- going for field for uh, medicine transportation so so this is the scenario like if male is going no one is questioning but if female is going so everyone is was questioning and yes it was a learning but uh, being a female i never uh, thought that anyone is stopping me because you were unstoppable you never stopped yourself that is important thank you daksha thank you very much <laughs>